Hello everyone and welcome back to Colony Survival. Last episode we started our base. Give you a quick little tour. We did a little claymaker's hut over here with a berry farm. We got our forester and log splitters over here. We have a mine started down below here. We have a moat built built around our base. We started some farms over here with wheat, mostly wheat, and then there's a fox farm on the end here. And then we started our first building here with some workstations in here with two tailor shops right now. And then a bedroom behind it for them to sleep. So we have 16 beds in here and we'll be able to fit 16 workstations out here. So today's episode, we're going to start with uh, looking at science. We're trying to unlock the anvil, which is requires leather. So in order to get leather, we need the tanner's booth. So in order to the tanner, we had to do buy some animal carcasses from the merchant hub. We're also going to go after this grocery store, which makes it so that the workers don't have to leave their station to go to the banner to get food. We can put a grocery store down and they will go to that instead. So we can put them much closer to their work locations, make them let walk less. So I've been, our tailors have been busy making linen, so let's go sell some of that. So there we go, we got 100 points out of that now. So let's buy five of these for the Tanner's booth. And then let's go back to science. And first thing let's do is let's unlock this grocery shop because that way they, I think it's built in the job craft, job block crafters workbench so they can start building those because we're going to need those right away. And then the Tanner. That's going to increase our monster threat by 10, but I think our four guards can handle it right now. So let's complete that. And that'll get the, um, let's see, where is this built at? This is built at the job block crafters workbench as well. So he'll be busy for a little bit making these new workstations for us. And then we'll get started on leather so we can unlock the anvil. So we're at night time here and I just figured I'd show you what a threat of 37 looks like. There's not a whole lot to see right now. But we can sit here and watch for a minute and see. It's not too bad right now. The zombies start coming in mass quantities later, but let us start us off slow to get us a base build up. It's kind of hard for him to see with this ledge right here, but eventually we'll get our drawbridge built across the way here so that they have to come across this bridge so we can see them all coming. But in order to do that, we'll have to wall off the entire island, which won't be too hard, but... So, they keep coming. I think the peak hour is right around midnight, depending on how far away they have to find the way to the main gate here. So as you can see, four guards can easily handle this right now. So during the day, our workbench guy built a whole bunch of stuff for us. So let's start with the grocery stores. I'm going to start with the... he only had time to build two of them. so. I am going to put them over here because these are the farthest away from the banner right now so they have to walk the farthest. So we can put one right there. That way they can all, this forester can use it as well as these log splitters. And we'll put one over this way by the berry farmers. That way these guys can all share this for run for right now. Once we get more of them, we'll put more down, but... And we also unlocked the fire pit last time. That's where I believe porridge is going to be made, so let's put some of those down. We'll eventually get a kitchen room built and a... smelter room built and stuff like that, but for now we're just going to... get it rolling. 
So yeah, so he'll, they'll make wheat porridge here, which is basically just wheat and potted water and cooked meat, which we'll get a little bit of from the tanner's booth, which we'll also put down. Move this over here. So we'll put the tanner's booth down over here. It makes leather for us, but it needs skin. And skin comes from animal carcasses, so we gotta go buy some more animal carcasses real quick. And then hire for those jobs. So let's see, let's, how many can we buy? I guess we gotta sell some stuff first. We don't have any in stock, so I guess we'll have to, we can sell some of this copper. There you go, so I bought 10 of them, so that'll get Tanner started once we hire for him. So let's hire for him right now. We have three jobs to fill. Our meals are sitting at 112, so slowly, very slowly going up, but we gotta watch as we hire more people that we're making enough meals. But with the addition of this fire pit here, we should be making more than enough meals. Yeah, just make them infinitely, that's, that's just fine. So once the, the tanner gets the leather built, we'll uh, unlock the anvil and start that production chain. So at night my guards are doing okay, but however with this drop off here, they can't see the zombies until they come up this, like here, if I'm, can still, the guards can still see them, guards can still see them, but now the guards can't see them, so now I have to wait till all the zombies get up to here before my guards can even start shooting. So I'm going to build that drawbridge now, if I have enough materials and make a, see if I can force the zombies to come across this bridge and over here, so that'll require... They'll still be able to spawn over here, but if I can dig a moat or something to force them to go this way, they'll have to go around and come up across the gate. I don't know if that'll delay them too long and they'll be start coming in the daytime, but it's one way to find out. So I'm going to try to do a time lapse of my build here. However, full disclaimer, I have this Parkinson's, so there's a lot of uh, times I'm pressing a key. I don't know I'm pressing a key. And so I'm going to try to do a time lapse. If it works, if it's not too painful to watch, I will record it. If not, we'll just skip it and I'll show you the end product. So here we go.
There you go. I will build the supports later because I have a feeling the water sound effects are going to be overpowering on the recording. But so yeah, there we go. So I finished building a bridge so that the zombies couldn't sneak up the hillside on me. I dug a little moat right here so I believe anything that even if it spawns in this dark area here, it'll have to go down across the river and up across the bridge to get in. So it turned out pretty good I think. Uh, nice lit up, lit up at night. Nice little entrance to our fort. Looks pretty cool I think, coming along nicely and it should give the guards e easier time to shoot the zombies. Plus maybe we can build defensive towers or something that'll help us in the long run take out masses of zombies that are about to approach us. So in the meantime I actually hired an extra tanner and an extra tailor to help speed along the leather process. So we have three tailors now and two tanners. They're out of ammo carcasses, so I'm going to keep buying that to, to just keep giving them something to do and keep our leather supply up there. So I'll we'll sell some linen. There you go, so now we have 25 animal carcasses. That should keep them busy for a while. As well, we should have the leather now to do the anvil. So that's going to increase our monster threat by 30, so we're probably going to want to put some more guards down right away. Because that's going to basically double our threat level. So I will do that in a second, but let's go ahead and complete it. And just Hopefully we don't forget to put them down. Uh, so we have unlocked a whole bunch of stuff with that. Archery, tool distribution. Stonemason. Stonemason is good because I want to start using these decorative blocks to build my city a little bit nicer. So we're going to have to wait for copper tools for that, but in order to get copper tools, we need to place some anvils. So our guys are crafting some anvils right now. As soon as they're done, we'll put them down and get focused on copper tools right away. As well as archery, which we can fight the zombies easier with. So... The thing we'll have to keep an eye on is our copper supply right now. We're at 495 ingots. Uh, I think that should be good, but we should see about probably placing down another copper miner now that we're going to start doing a lot of copper work. So let's real quick put down a couple more guards just in case. I'm actually going to put them outside this safe zone and hope one doesn't spawn right in here, which we should be fine. Worst case is we move them back in. So let's see, put them right in the middle, I guess. So we'll see how that does. So let's wait for them to build those anvils so we can start uh, some copper production. All right, they've got the anvils built, so let's run downstairs and place those. We'll come back up at about midnight and see uh, how the zombies are doing. So I expand this area a little bit. I'm gonna put some more smelters on this side. Anvils on this side, I think. We can always rearrange it later. I will start with. I don't know, three of them, I guess. And then well, let's put some extra smelters in. Leave those on group one for now. And then I started over here a building a bedroom for the miners. Lock off the noise for them so they can sleep a little better. But I'll come back through and build this, but just to give you an idea. So 
So we'll build a wall here, put some entryways into here, try to make them a nice little bedroom. And they also need a grocery store down here. I'll probably move this wall over one because it is a little tight in here. But you get the idea. Something like that. So I'll make it look nicer in a minute. I'll have to see if that wall is going to interfere with our steps, which it is a bit. I don't know. Figure it out. So that's that. Let's go check out the zombies up top here and see what's going on. Looks like they're all coming across the bridges, which, which is what we wanted. I believe we've unlocked a new zombie type. Let's see if we see one coming. Right now they all look like the standard zombies. But we're at a threat level of about 70 right now. So far it looks pretty good. Handling it pretty easy. These guys on the outside here are doing pretty well. Here comes one of those zombies that are... This guy right here. So he takes more than one hit to... to kill. But they just keep getting stronger and stronger and more and more of them. But so far it looks like our six guards are handling 70 threat pretty nicely. So let's see what's next in the science menu here. Probably work on archery. We'll have to unlock these copper lock boxes. So right now our county points are capped at 100. Every copper lock box we put down increases our point capacity. I can't remember how much. I think it's 50. But it also increases monster threat by doing that. So it adds 50 colony points but causes 3 threat. So for every every lockbox you have down it causes an extra 3 threat. So we'll go unlock those pretty soon here. Actually probably right now. Why we're talking about it. To do that I need some colony points so I gotta sell some linen. Good there. And so that we have everything required for that, so we'll complete that. Those are built at the anvil as well, so once we hire for that, let's hire for those jobs right away. And let's also run downstairs and put a grocery store, because I keep forgetting to do that. That way they won't have to walk all the way up to the stairs to the banner, and it'll make them much more efficient. Let's throw it down here for now. We'll, in between recordings here, I'll clean this area up and make it look nice. Show you what it looks like when we're done. Let's see if anywhere else needs a grocery store right away. They have one, they have one. The farmers could use one over here. For now, I'll just put it there, but so that's good. So we'll let the anvil and the job crafter blocks build our new archers and what else? Whatever else we have here, we're basically waiting on copper tools now. So we can unlock this. We can unlock the tool distribution, which works just like the grocery store. Only well, for tools, so they won't have to come to the banner to grab a tool. They will go to the tool distribution and grab a tool. And we'll get into writers and stuff in a minute. And then I also want to unlock this stone mason so we have some decorative blocks to work with. So let's let the anvil to take care of the copper tools and we'll go from there. I started cleaning up some stuff. I started our canopy over the walkway here. As soon as we get stone mason unlocked, I'll put a stone pathway down. But I moved the bed up, put a grocery store at the end of each column so that way they'd Guys don't have to walk too far to get their grocery to get their meal. 
And then downstairs we rearranged the mine a little bit. I put in steps actually so I don't have to jump up anymore. So these little quarter blocks are steps. Much nicer. So this is our new mine area. I can fit another row of workstations here. Right now I have seven smelters going. Uh, one copper miner, one sand, oh, two copper miners. Got one unemployed, I'm not sure where that's from, but we'll find out. Actually, we can find out by job, looking at the jobs. So we'll go to colony, manage jobs. And we can see we're short one on the smelter, so. So we'll hire for that in a minute. It's probably because I added an extra copper miner and he picked to be a copper miner instead of a smelter when I rearranged the stuff. Anyway, I put a little bedroom down here. There's 16 beds in here right now. I think I have 15 workers out there, so not too bad. Kind of sunken in bed there, but squeeze them in where you can, I guess. It's not great working conditions for them, but they don't seem to mind. So that's that. And upstairs, everybody's been switching over to copper tools, so that's nice. Copper tools will be... So these guys still have stone tools, but when we switch to copper tools, they'll switch to copper when their stone tools break. But copper is 4x crafting speed, whereas stone tools with 2x, and they only last for 1500 seconds. These last for 2000 seconds. So much nicer and faster. Good stuff. Help increase our production. Speaking of science, let's see what we can uh, unlock. So we can unlock the archery, which will unlock Fletcher's, which will make our arrows for us and our bows. We'll complete that. Tool distribution will be, we talked about that already. Let's complete that one. Stone mason, we need to have stone rubber, copper tools, and linen. So we're good there. Fail safe, we just need some points. So fail safe is, I guess if you feed, feed sacred meals to your colonists, it gets up sacred points, which in turn you can activate the fail safe. And if you're being overrun by zombies, you can f hit the fail safe and it does a whole bunch of damage to the zombies. But it takes a while to build the damage back up, so you can, can't use it all the time. And I guess we'll do unlock the writer since we're here. He's going to be important in a minute, but we'll get to him in a little bit, but we'll unlock him while we're here. And that's going to unlock a whole bunch of other stuff for us, so we'll go through that in a minute, but let's let the job crafter block. Maybe we should add a second one of him. Because now he's got a whole bunch of stuff to build. Yeah, I think we'll add a second one to him. That way we can build stuff faster. And I was going to add two more guards real quick. Just because as we're adding this stuff, I don't want to forget about it and be overrun by zombies because that'll be the end of the colony. Nighttime's just starting out, so they should be fine, but we'll add two guards anyway. And let's hire for all those jobs. And I gotta work out some housing for these guys instead of just making them sleep outside. Treat them a little nicer, they're protecting our colony after all. So we'll let them build the archers, Fletcher's tables, and all that stuff, and then uh, we shall uh, move over to archers. These guys are doing a pretty good job, though. Threat level 72. So, onward and upward. All right, our workers have the Fletcher's desk as well as stonemason built. So let's run downstairs, put some stonemasons down there. 
Get them making decorative blocks for us so we can build a guard tower out of it. I guess I'll put them over here for now. But it'll make all these blocks that it needs. Let's see, bricks. Needs bricks. This will make cobblestone. This is the one I think I want most of, so it's up that too. 100. So these all require bricks to be made. I'll have to look up where those go. But these just require stone rubble, which we have a ton of. So we'll probably focus on using these. I like these too, though. They look pretty nice. So we'll uh, put some of these in too. Why not? We'll come back and adjust it later if we need to. And then upstairs, we're going to put some Fletcher's desks in. Get a, Before we expand too much, we're going to want to get to archers so we can protect ourselves. So I guess we'll just stick them in here for now. We're going to have to consider building a second floor on this or another building pretty soon. So these make bows and arrows. So we'll have to really watch our copper ingots and planks now because they're going to become our main source of ammo. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right now we have 830 copper ingots, so we're doing pretty good on copper right now, but we'll keep an eye on it. 1500 stone rubble, so quite a bit. I've noticed we got a stockpile of wheat going, which means we probably don't have enough fire pits down because there's ones using it to make wheat porridge right now. So I think we'll put another one of those down for now until we get better food unlocked. Where is it at? Fire pit. So I'll put one of these guys down. And the other thing we have to work on is the writer's desk, which is right here. It re makes scrolls of knowledge. Now scrolls of knowledge are needed for pretty much everything in science now. Scroll of knowledge, scroll of knowledge. They all require basically scrolls of knowledge. So in order to progress, we're going to have to do scrolls of knowledge. These are made using parchment, which is made in the Tanner's table over here, which comes from skin, and skin comes from animal carcasses. So we'll have to buy some more animal carcasses because I think we're getting low, if not. Yeah, we only have two left in our inventory, so we'll have to go buy some more of those. So we don't have any points right now, so we're going to have to sell some linen. And then we can buy some... Sell some more. And buy some more. Alright, that gives them 27. That gives them something to work on for a while. So we'll have to build an area for these. My choices are either build a second building over here somewhere. Like I'm going to make this into a plaza for the banner and make it a nice little area for our banner. Put another building over here, I think. As well as add a second story to these buildings so we have more workstations and bedrooms. And also we're going to work on our guard tower, but I'm going to wait to do the guard tower until I get some cobblestone build up so we can make them a nice little stone tower as the entranceway to our fort. So that's what we got going on. Let's hire for these positions real quick. Gotta watch our threat level, it's getting up there. But so that's good. Now we have 208 meals, so we're still doing good there. So I'm gonna build an area of building to house the writer's desks. Which I didn't mean to put him to work there, but I guess we'll move him in a minute. And uh, start working on adding a second story to these buildings. To speed things along, we're going to run down and put down two more stone masons. As well as tool distribution down there so that the workers don't have to come all the way up top to get a tool. So first is tool distribution, so this works just like the banner. They'll now come here to get a tool instead of going all the way up to the banner. 
save them a lot of time. We'll put two more uh, stonemasons down because they take forever to make blocks. Oops, I'm putting down the wrong thing, that's why it's not working. Alright, so that'll get uh, cobblestone made a lot faster. Takes forever to make it, I don't know why they make it take so long, but... And now they have tool, dis tool distribution down here, so they don't have to go upstairs to get their tool. So realistically, they can get their meal, their tool, and sleep down here. They should almost never leave this area. But we've got to make sure we add enough beds in here to accommodate. So I'll have to dig some more of this out and add some more beds. Because right now there's not enough beds for all these workers. So... I'll take care of that in between episodes as well. But for now, that'll get them going. Back upstairs. We will... I will continue clearing out this area over here. And build an, another building in between episodes to match this one. Now we'll, we will create a plaza in here for our banner. And hopefully by that time our stonemasons will have made enough cobblestone that we can start on our guard tower over here. But while we have tool distribution up, I'm going to add one in here. So we'll add a grocery store in here, as well as tool distribution. Not crazy about how that looks, but... Yeah, I don't like that either. I don't know. We'll play around with it and see. But that way now they can get their tools right here as well. Speed them along as a little bit. So pretty soon we'll unlock the digger. Which is... This guy, this way, we won't have to dig blocks. We can assign a colonist to dig an area for us. And much more convenient. To do that we'll have to put some lock boxes down. Because we can... Only store 100 colony points right now, and this needs 250. So in between episodes, I will build this building, and hopefully we'll save up enough stone to start the guard tower. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.